Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the two legends that are coming out tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Now I do want to give a shout out to Gray Moore for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the mid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. Now also, if you haven't already seen my video, I actually did a gameplay with the new Ryan Chazier and Taylor Mays. So make sure you guys go and check it out. But as you guys can see, one of the legends for tomorrow is in fact Mean Joe Green. Now this really is not a surprise at all. I kind of expected us to get a defensive lineman, probably defensive tackle to be honest, because of the 50 players that we have and also the legends that we currently have in the game. We do have Merlin Olsen currently a DT and we have Kawan Short, but we haven't got a the 50 player defensive tackle. So I kind of thought they may save Mean Joe for like the 50, but I also was maybe expecting us to get a DT for legends. And we did. So as you guys can see by his stats, he has 74 speed, 83 acceleration, 91 strength, 89 tackling, 88 play rec, 91 block shed, 91 power move. Now personally, I'm not a big defensive tackle fan just because of the defense that I run. You guys know it. I run a big nickel scheme, which I personally use my two outside linebackers on the defensive line and my two defensive ends on the interior. So I don't actually use a DT except for when I come out in 3-4. So DTs for me, yeah, they play basically on the goal line and that's about about it really so for that scenario though that is perfect for me with me and joe green if i want to pick this card up but in general if you're a defensive tackle type of guy like, like if your dt does some work for you me and joe green is going to do some work now if we take a look here at the stats compared to kawan short who is the only 90 overall dt in the game merlin olsen being an 89 you can power on to a 90 but me and joe with 74 speed 83 acceleration the speed is much much higher than kawan short which is pretty big at DT, of course. Also, the acceleration, 82, 83, so plus one. Now, of course, he does have 91 strength, power move, and block shed, which is big because it is one less block shed, but three more strength, and also three more power move. So getting the addition of speed, strength, and also power move and only minus one block shed, I would definitely rather have the Mean Joe Green. Also, you guys can see 87 pursuit and 88 tackling. They don't have pursuit on here, but you can see 89 tackling, 88 player rank, which is really only good for screens, I suppose. Not a big deal at all for defensive tackles. Uh, so in my opinion, and I, I really don't even think it's close at all, this is the best DT in the game. Mean Joe Green is definitely the best defense tackle in the game. If you like DTs, definitely pick him up. If you're someone like me who may not use defensive tackles because you feel like you want to have someone faster out there, uh, like defensive ends or outside linebackers on the edges instead of your outside or your defensive ends on the edges and then your DTs on the interior, then maybe you would want to rather go with somebody else. But Mean Joe is definitely the best DT. Now, as for the other legend, of course, it is going to be an offensive lineman. So, yes, it is going to be a trenches legend weekend essentially with a dt and a center we have kevin mawai now this you guys will notice is actually the ltd this is the one they decided to reveal so the 92 overall stats this is of course powered up kevin mawai stats as well so if you get the 91 you powered up it's this or if you pull the ltd these are stats so maybe not the most exciting Legends weekend with it being a two linemen. You know, we don't have a cornerback or a wide receiver or QB running back, whatever. I know a lot of people tend to get more excited about that. But this is definitely an essential, in my opinion. This, this is definitely a, a very, very needed Legends weekend to fill the gaps here. But you guys can see 90 strength, 92 awareness, 90 pass block with an 88 pass block power, 91 pass block finesse, 92 run block, 91 run block power and 92 run block finesse yeah he looks really really good now if we compare kevin mawai to my current center which of course is going to be travis frederick there is also Bl uh, brandon linder who is an 89 overall as well uh, but you guys can see frederick does have 88 strength so instantly he's already at an l here because the powered up version of kevin Y or ltd kevin Y is at 90 strength now 92 awareness with a 90 pass blocking you guys can see the awareness only an 89 the pass block 
only an 87 pass block power and pass block finesse 88 and 85 and you guys can see 88 and 91 so he's definitely the better center already with the pass blocking and strength but then we take a look at the run block and we have 92 91 and 92 and you guys can see 88 88 86 so i don't even think it's close he is most definitely the better center keep in mind though this is the powered up kevin y so if you're just looking at getting the 91 overall maybe you don't have the coins available to go ahead uh and power up the other card or the coins available to go ahead and buy the ltd depending on the price difference between the set card and the ltd then just minus one and in my opinion he is still the better center which is unfortunate for myself of course as a cowboys fan you guys know i was actually just looking into potentially powering up travis frederick but i was waiting for them to drop a new center to see just how much better he was gonna be now the only thing that we don't know unfortunately by the by just seeing these stats here of course is going to be the lead block and the impact block as well as the speed acceleration that type of stuff but Let's be honest here, with how big of a gap there is between the strength, the run block, and the pass block, all that, I am definitely going to be looking to pick up Kevin Mawai as my new starting center. Now, just to kind of let you guys know about this, do not be surprised at all if next week we actually end up getting a left guard for a legend as well, because I honestly think that next week we may just get another offensive guard or an offensive lineman, and it's not going to be a very, very exciting legend weekend either, because you guys can see right now, if we take a look at right tackle and left guard, we already have Joe Thomas at left tackle, so we're not going to get one of him. We also have Larry Allen already at right guard, so we're not going to get him. So if they're going to go with another offensive lineman position, you guys can see we already have 289 overall right tackles but there's only Richie when it comes to left guards so more than likely we may get like Bruce Matthews next week we just got Vincent Jackson we just got Tyrone Calico for the wide receivers we just got Michael Vick uh last week for legends and we also have Reggie Bush and a ton of other running backs in the game already and we just got Jimmy Graham so more than likely it's going to be a left guard next week. Also, they did just release this screenshot here so you guys can see what powered up Amin Joe Green is going to be looking like. So just plus one, essentially. 75 speed, 84 excel, 92 strength, 92 power, 92 block shed. And that card art looks very, very nice. Very, very nice looking cards. Maybe not the most exciting Legends weekend with it being two linemen, but... It is what it is. As I said, I kind of feel like this is a needed uh, Legends weekend with it being the DT and the center. Now, I do hope that we actually end up getting another guard as well. I was really hoping that we'd either get probably a left guard because we don't have a legend left guard uh, i was thinking it was going to be bruce matthews this week and not a center but i'm not mad about getting the center either because honestly we need a left guard and we also need a center we have a ton of really really good defensive linemen and pass rushers in general right now so we badly needed this upgraded center at least but with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure to drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know are you guys gonna be opening up packs are you guys gonna be going for these players you guys to know i'll drop a bit in the morning opening up some packs see if we can pull these guys hope you guys enjoyed see you guys next time